How do we remain in love when we are afraid? How do we remain in our hearts when the whole world is falling around us and we feel so lost, confused, and having no idea of what to do with our lives? We have all these ideas and desires within us, yet we are terrified. All these things can be overwhelming for us and we have no idea what to do. And we're always taught, oh, we should live from our heart. We should love in all circumstances. But when we're in such an emotional state, we may not have any idea of how to do that. And just this process of being overwhelmed and it causes us to go into these cycles of loops of thought patterns, which then create our emotions, which then create our results in our lives. It's all created first through the thought. So coming into this understanding that, hey, um, I'm afraid right now and I go down this negative thought pattern of my thoughts are creating emotions and therefore I'm not going to get the results that I want. And I wanted to tell you a story of what's happened to me today and how I resolved and worked through it. So I was not in a heart-centered space. It was I was creating all these things. I was looking at doing all these things and I was getting really overwhelmed by it. And I was like, oh my God, how am I going to create these things? How am I going to do all this stuff? And all these things were running through my mind. And my, my heart just told me, hey, you need to stop. You need to just come back to yourself and listen for a second. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll hear you out. So I went and sat down and I went and tuned into myself and I started breathing. And just by the act of slowing down our breathing, we actually start to relax our nervous system. So when we're stressed, our, the stress response basically reduces Uh, releases chemicals into the body, which uh, is the fight or flight response. And it pumps us up with adrenaline, which is, which is great if we're being attacked by a tiger, but if we're just in our day-to-day lives, it's not very beneficial to be constantly living in this stressful state. So instead of uh, living in this state, what we can do is we can start to slow down our breathing and start to put our attention back on our heart. And with all this stuff going on around us, when we start to breathe. And this is what I was doing. I just started to slow down my breathing and I started to connect within myself and I put my hands on my heart. I said, I love you. I love you. I love you. And just by doing this, I was telling my heart that it was safe to open. I was telling my heart that it was safe to release and it was safe to be itself. And regardless of the things that it felt, I wasn't going to push it away. I wasn't going to say, you're wrong for feeling this way. You're wrong for having all these emotions come up. Why can't you be in this high vibrational state? I chose to give my, I chose to give myself love in that state. And by doing that, it just opened my heart so much. And through that state, I meditated and I connected with the Archangel, which I was working with at the, which at the moment, which is Archangel Michael and connected into that center of throat chakra awareness and listening to my inner truth. And from this state, of uh, tuning into myself and connecting to the archangels or whoever you want to connect to, even if it's the infinite universe, if it's yourself, whether it's Jesus, Buddha, whatever it is that resonates with you, connecting to a part of yourself which makes you feel that divine love is what is important. So when I started to do this, when I connected into myself, connected to Archangel Michael, I actually started to receive guidance. I actually started to see the information which I needed at that time for for the course that I was working on. And it was like, wow, all this stuff just infinitely started flowing when I just let go, when I just started to relax. And when we find ourselves in these circumstances where we feel so overwhelmed by what is going on around us, it doesn't help to constantly live in this state of fear and trying to do stuff all the time to try and figure out what's wrong and trying to solve the problem. It's actually when we take a step back and start to breathe and relax and just open our hearts that we start to actually feel this infinite love which is around us. And I want to do a little exercise for you guys now, Um, whether you're watching live or on the replay, just place your hands on your heart and I want you to close your eyes and I want you to take a slow deep breath in and a deep breath out. And just as you breathe out, you just start relaxing all your body and just feeling how how tense you may be, feeling the tension in your shoulders and how much um, stress there is there. And just noticing, not judging ourselves for it, but just noticing what is there. And still having your hands on your heart 
and then I want you to say I love you. And I want you to repeat after me. And I'm gonna say I love you and I want you to repeat it to yourself. I love you. I love you. I love you. And saying these to your heart. Your beautiful heart which deserves so much love and attention which sometimes we just don't give it. And I love you. I love you. I love you. And oftentimes when we do this, when we actually start to do it, it doesn't actually feel authentic. We're just like, oh, that's that's a bit weird. That sensation's not very nice. It's not very genuine. And yeah, we've been conditioned that we think we need love outside of ourselves. We think that all the love which we're seeking is outside of ourselves through a form of a relationship, through a form of a, um, a new job, through a new career, through a new amount of money that we may desire. And guess what? When we get those things, because we'll get them, it doesn't actually fulfill us. Have you ever noticed that? The last thing you were really searching after, it was like the sole focus of your attention. And when, guess what? You got it. There, just a new thing popped up. Because we're looking for love within ourselves, uh, the only <laughs> when we're trying to chase it outside of ourselves, it's never going to be fulfilling. The real, the real key to this, the real key to feeling satisfied and complete and in this state of love and unity consciousness is to realize that we have our own power. There's no amount of someone saying I love you to you is going to make you feel complete within yourself. No amount. No amount at all. So you have to give that to yourself. And just by simply placing your hands on your heart and saying I love you and doing this repeatedly, doing it throughout the day, doing it whenever you feel stressed, as you wake up, in the morning, just place your hands on your heart and say, I love you. I love you. I love you. What we're actually doing is we reprogramming the subconscious mind. And I talk a lot about reprogramming the subconscious and a lot of people just talk about it in terms of wealth and manifestation and just even health. But in terms of like the genuine love that you need to feel for yourself, it's the same thing. We're needing to program these, this new conditioned response within us. Um, because the people in our lives who we grow up with through our parents, through our circumstances, you know, they weren't trained. They weren't, um, they had their own pain. They had their own habitual patterns and they could never love us as well as we needed. So we carried our, and we shut our hearts from that because maybe we're in an abusive relationship. Maybe um, our parents, people around us, something happened to us in our childhood. We all have a painful story that we went through and we all survive so much and I want you guys to feel the love that I do and the love that I feel for myself because when we start feeling this love and we start giving our heart the attention that it so desires, well, life starts to become a lot easier. It starts to flow and it's not that when you get to this state of fifth dimensional consciousness that the pain stops, that everything is just rosy and love and light all the time. It's, there's a lot of love and light, don't get me wrong. But life will still devastate you occasionally and because you're a spirit living in a human body and we're not meant to run away from this body. We're not meant to transcend it. Okay, I've had states of samadhi where I've just, I just literally have a picture of me in samadhi and this state was beautiful and amazing. It was a divine connection with the universe, but we are meant to be here. We are meant to be here in physical bodies with personalities to interact with the world and to spread our love and to embody our heart-centered consciousness in every single thing that we do. That is our purpose here. And when you're living from that state, you are creating the life of your dreams. You are in full alignment with your soul. That's, that's all you have to do. To get to that point, hands on your heart and start giving it the attention that it so desires. And just anchoring yourself in reality, not letting all the things which are overwhelming you to just build up and take over your entire attention because there'll always be things to do always it's uh just because you complete one thing another thing will pop up so it's about not getting overwhelmed by these things and choosing to stay heart-centered in the moment and when we can do that well life becomes a lot easier and when we get when we do get devastated by life when things happen when you're a high vibrational being you're able to reset yourself from it. You're able to move through it with grace instead of blaming other people or um, giving away your power or becoming a victim. And I don't want you guys to be a victim. I, I was a victim for a long time. 
and I don't want that for anyone anymore because I realize when you come into this space of being in your power and being authentic in every single thing that you do, being authentic in the way that you have conversations with people, being authentic in the way that you love, being authentic in your power and standing strong for what you believe in, without trying to say that anyone else is wrong, without trying to impress your opinion on others, just accepting that everyone's opinion is valid. You don't have to agree with people's opinion, but they have the right to that perspective. And when you can start to live in this state, this state of love and unity, when life does devastate you, you can, you can say thank you. You can say thank you for bringing me closer to my awakening. Thank you for awakening me more into the next beautiful aspect of my life. And yes, there will be pain. Yes, there will be emotions which go through us and we might cry. Often I've cried today. And this is part of the journey. It's part of the journey to have a human experience when you can live from this state of love and unity consciousness in everything that you do. Life opens up. We're not fighting. We're not struggling. We are fully complete in everything that we do. And we can embody that consciousness just by, and share that with others, just by looking into someone's eyes when we're passing them on the street and acknowledging their presence and letting the light of our divinity shine into them. And that is all it takes. Just connecting to your own heart. Hello, Nigel. Welcome. And I want to say thank you. Thank you to you for joining me here. Thank you to my heart for allowing it to be loved in every single instance. And thank you to your own hearts. Thank you for surviving and being on this earth today. It hasn't been easy. I know you've gone through so much and I want you to feel the love that you so deserve. And this is the way to it. By listening to yourself and saying, I love you in every single moment. Mm. Thank you, Shelley. I'm, I'm not sorry I cried today. I'm glad, I'm glad I did. It was a beautiful release um, for me to go through and for me to learn about myself, to not be overwhelmed by everything that I was, that I am doing in my life, but to remain heart-centered in each and every moment. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I wish you so much love and so much light, guys. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Shelley. And I appreciate you all. If you want to share your story about things that have happened to you today or in the past about how you dealt and how you were feeling about your, maybe things got overwhelmed and you didn't really know what to do. I would love to, I'd love to hear them in your comment, in the comments. Please, please share your experiences and stories. And I really appreciate you. So thank you for being and I wish you so much love and so much light from the bottom depths of my soul and heart. Namaste.